Wade Kisa. I'm a second year, so a sophomore. Hold on. I um, over the summer I worked as a manager for UC Davis youth programs. And for a favorite running memory, I would say over the summer I ran in Lompoc, California, and I got dropped off at the beach and ran 11 miles back on the roads by myself. Um, it was just really nice because it was like. You go from uh, um, the sea weather, so it's like 60 degrees to like 80 as you get into town. But it's really nice because you're in this like valley coming off the beach and there's like mountains to your right and you're, there's just a whole bunch of farms and everything. It's absolutely beautiful, especially as like the mist starts to go away as you get farther and farther away from the ocean. Um, I would say that was my favorite memory as of recent. Yeah. Great. Uh, where are you from, Wade? I'm from Folsom, California, Folsom, about 40 okay. minutes from Davis. Not too far from Davis. So going into your second year, um, what uh, what made you want to come to UC Davis? Uh, well, it was close for one. Um, running was an opportunity. Um, and I want to, uh, my major that I'm actually transferring into is biomedical engineering. Nice. Uh, and I knew I wanted to do something sort of with uh, biotechnical, just because I took a class on it back in junior year and at the... Um, uh, community college in Folsom uh, and I knew out of engineering I definitely want to like work into biotechnical I knew Davis is definitely the place to do it in regards to research um, I know a lot of the other people on this team uh, have experience with research and balancing that with uh, running and so if they can do it then I can do it too. That's great yeah a lot of resources um, so going into that major um, where do you see yourself taking that after graduation? Um, I mean, I'd like to uh, get a, a research position um, during uh, my time here, um, whether during my sophomore year or junior year at the very uh, earliest, days, et cetera. Um, continue that through and hopefully work into a specialization of biotech that I want to go into because, of course, biomedical, it goes from like prosthetics, like on the mechanical side. All the way to like a like the genetic side with like transgenic organisms, and I definitely want to work more with like transgenic organisms, like uh, like GMOs, for example. Um, maybe even work that into like the energy sector, like perfecting um, like microorganisms or plants for like ethanol uh, or biodiesel. So I definitely want to work into research with that, and then hopefully um, continue that research as a paid position outside of college. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Great. Uh, and uh, last question, although you're a sophomore, you have some wisdom, what advice can you give to your freshmen that are just coming in? Uh, it gets better. <laughs> gets better? Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's pretty normal for like freshmen to have that whole like anxiety, of course, as Emma was talking about. Uh, it's a whole new thing getting into college and then getting into the whole D1 sector as well. Um, I think it's normal to have this kind of idea in your head that maybe you're not good enough because you're new to it. Um, like going, jumping from high school to D1, it's, it's a really big thing. I definitely had that. I know a lot of people like baseball and water polo, uh, swim friends that I've made that have had the same thing. Uh, maybe they don't feel good enough coming into the sport uh, performance wise. Uh, it gets better. 100%. Um, and that, that's the whole fun in it. It's like accepting that with yourself um, and just seeing you go through.